Hey everybody, it is Rob Vegas checking in from Melbourne, Australia, and of course it is Monday night, Ninja night, and boy do we have a cracker of an episode this evening. Um, again, I'm just keeping it to these pretty basic videos at the moment, um, yeah, I just haven't been able to get in front of the camera, but if you really must know what I look like, you can always watch one of the old videos. That said, let's go ahead and check it out, because we've got 1991 slice cobra ninja and boy is this an awesome character um in terms of um his availability he came out as part of the ninja force as the um cobra associate and he is an individual character not a um army builder or troop builder or whatever they call it he is an individual um he came with two accessories which will just why not? We'll just go straight into it and have a look at them. He's got this OG ninja sword that he came with originally, which is a really cool piece. It's got this kind of hook on it. So, for example, he stabs you with it, um, and then it's got that hook on it. And then when he pulls it out, he maybe twists it and rips some of your extra guts out or something like that. Um, and he also came with this cool as big old big bladed knife which is a great piece with a guard on it as with the um sword actually yeah just to make things a bit more sinister with the sword it has an actual guard on it there with a blade on it um like a crescent blade which is really cool like what a lot of cool gear that's great i'm loving it of course slice being a ninja force figure came with a ninja action packed gimmick um, and it's unusual because his is you, uh, of course he's got normal articulation on the left arm, but on the right arm, it's got a spring loaded feature. So if you pull it, wind it back like that, it goes whoosh for extra ninja action. So you can see he knows his judo well. Um, it, it's cool, but by the same token, uh, being an O-ring figure, of course, if he gets problems with the rubber O-ring, it means there's no way to access the um, insides of the figure, so there's no screw on the back, which is, um, yeah, I'm not 100% happy with that. Um, so hopefully the O-rings they use on these are like titanium or something, so the figure lasts. Um, and he is coming up on 30 years old. So you can see the accessories fit really well, and he looks cool as. I know, yeah, he's black on a black background, and that's probably not the best filming technique, but we'll do, try and do a close-up. Here we go with his whoosh. Oh, that wasn't very good. Um, yeah, this isn't working as well as I would have liked, but hey... What would Ninja Knight be if everything went to plan? So you can see he's a really cool figure. And, and if you can get him in your collection, you are going to be having a great day. Because he's a top shelf figure. The design, he's got this creepy as mirrored mask on. Um, sort of tied down with a bandana. And they actually gave him like um, this sort of material bit that flaps off the back of his head. And, of course, this belt bit that um, extrudes from the figure. And, um, yeah, you, you're looking at, like, what a great figure. Um, he was amazing in the comics. Like, he popped up as a foil regularly to the Joes. And, um, yeah, a really awesome, sinister-looking dude. Um, and, um, yeah, one of my all-time favorite figures. Now... I'm going to put him aside because, of course, as they were wont to do in the 1990s, they did reissue some of these figures. And, of course, the elephant in the room is Orange Slice. So this came out um, probably the following year, maybe 1992 or 1993, um, give or take. I can't remember the exact dates. Um, having said that, I can't remember much on the best of days, let alone 
when these figures came out and 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 then the backstory of every one of them um if you want to see how absent minded I am have a look at some of my videos where I discuss the figures from the core but that's a story for another day because they reissued slice in bright orange now couldn't they have just brought him out again like in red uh, because that that's like a great look and then they're like oh hey you know what'll be really cool let's make him bright orange something that was unusual though is that when they brought him out again they brought him out with a different weapon system which was one of those what the community's been referring to as a weapons tree and um oddly enough it, like yeah let's check it out he came out with you know that same knife again so that that's good can't go wrong with that he came out with these sinister looking things they're like knuckle dusters but they've got you know knives on each end of them so that's pretty full on he came out with this which of course is a reissue of the ninja staff that dice uh, slice's friend who we'll talk about on an upcoming ninja night uh, he came out with that as well um and that axe that um dice came out with so he came out with basically black um copies or reissues of dice's weaponry which i found pretty strange at the time we're going to throw that down because we've got dice over there um so he's going to be in a ninja night coming up soon um and at the moment he's got his silver og stuff so we'll you know have a bit of a compare and see how he goes with the black gear as opposed to the silver and he going back to orange slice <laughs> sounds like a chocolate treat from england um, yeah, Orange Slice also came with this, I'm not sure what the original, um, was for this particular sword, but it's like a much more sinister version of the, um, sword that came with Red Slice, like the original Slice. So, yeah, that, that's actually a really cool accessory. I like that one, but of course, um, came with orange slice so that, that's where it gets weird but um of note uh orange slice has the same ninja action which is of course the um that particular thing and he doesn't have the back plug either um so yeah it's like while the feature is admittedly cool um it does sort of throw a spanner in the works when you want to or if say for example you're forced into a position where you had to fix the guys um especially with the o-ring figures so it does create that dilemma there where you have to be super careful with them especially being um you know 30 years old and being real um, treasured stuff so I've, I've outfitted slice with that orange slice sword because he, he likes it a bit better um, and let's see how he goes with his ninja action no nope, not very well oh <laughs> that's um not working out hey eh? yeah that's going to be uncomfortable for bonsai um let's just see how he goes with this knuckle duster thing see if we can get him to knock no, come on, ninja action. Oh, there we go. It's like, I don't like that orange uniform. And you've got a weird hat. There we go. How's that for some 1990s ninja action? Absolutely amazing. But, um, yeah, orange slice. Um, yeah. But original OG Slice is amazing. He's such a good figure. Um, I'm so glad I was able to pick this guy up originally. Um, and so 
just happy that he's still in one piece in the tub. And we've been able to reunite him with some old friends and of course all of the cool accessories that he came with. Um, additionally, we've got his comrade Dice over there who'll be popping up on another Ninja Knight soon. Um, but yeah, Monday night, Ninja Knight, get your ninja action on. It's always a real treat. And um, yeah, who knows? what will be in the next episode. So, well, it's probably going to be dice. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching as always. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you had this figure or if you've still got him. And, um, yeah, catch you in the next video, friends.